factors affecting catalyst. Eh? Catalyst. Okay. A catalyst is a substance which can change the rate of reactions. Eh? And you need to remember. Okay, you must remember this. Okay, because in the exam they may ask you uh, what is catalyst. Okay, so then you say catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that can change the rate of reactions. Huh? Okay, so that is catalyst. And there are two types of catalyst. The positive catalyst. Positive catalyst increase the rate of reactions, means that it make the reaction faster. Okay, and as we have another types of uh, catalyst, as we discussed just now, negative catalyst. It reduce the rate of reactions. Okay, or uh, it make the reactions slower. So two types of catalysts. Eh? So that is what you need to know. Okay, now let's see these experiments. Eh? Uh, this is the reactions between zinc and hydrochloric acid. Eh? Zinc and hydrochloric acid. If you still remember, this is one of the reactions of acid. Eh? Acid undergoes four reactions. Four reactions. One of it is a uh, metal, uh, reactive metal with acid, and the product is uh, salt and hydrogen gas. Uh, salt and hydrogen gas. Okay, so this is a chemical reaction. Uh, zinc react with hydrochloric acid, and uh, the product is zinc chloride. This is a salt. Uh, okay, this is a salt, and this is hydrogen gas. Okay, hydrogen gas, and then um, we repeat the the experiments. Okay. With zinc and hydrochloric acid, everything remains the same. Concentrations uh, also remain the same. But the second set, we use copper sulfate as a catalyst. And then, so let's see what's the result. Okay, so this is a graph. And then we found that um, if we plot the volumes of the gas, uh, okay, volumes of the gas, hydrogen gas release against times, then um, this is the result for set one, and this is the result for set two. Okay, now from the graph, set two, uh, experiment set two, is the rate of reactions higher or lower? Set two. That's right, okay. Uh, because the gradient is higher, okay, we have higher gradient. Uh, we have higher gradient, and therefore the rate of reaction is also higher. Okay, so you see, just with the presence of copper sulfate, uh, then the rate of reactions increase. So this is the proof uh, that uh, catalysts can change the rate of reaction. So this is experiment one. Okay, now let's see experiment two. This is decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Yeah? Uh, the equation, the formula for hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. Uh, H2O2. Hydrogen peroxide is not stable, so by itself it will decompose to form water and oxygen. So you, you just leave it, you just leave it there, and then automatically it will decompose to form water and oxygen. But the process is very slow. Yeah, the process is very slow. And then we have a second set. Okay, everything is still the same, but uh, the second set we have manganese four oxide. Yeah, manganese four oxide. The formula for manganese 4 oxide is MnO2. Uh, okay, manganese 4 oxide, MnO2. So sometimes you also call this a uh, manganese dioxide. Okay, manganese 4 oxide or manganese dioxide. One manganese with two oxygens. Uh. Okay, uh, so the second set with the presence of manganese oxide. Let's see what's the result for set 2. Uh, uh, the rate is higher. The rate is higher, so uh, we can conclude that the presence of the of catalyst increases the rate of reactions. So these two experiments shows that uh, for some reactions with the presence of catalyst, the rate of reactions can change. Eh? Manganese oxide or manganese dioxide. Okay. So I it looks like I create some confusions. Okay. Manganese oxide or manganese dioxide. Eh? Okay. Manganese 4 oxide. You can say it's manganese 4 oxide or you can say it's manganese dioxide. They are the same. Okay. If you want to say manganese oxide, then you must say manganese 4. Okay, include the oxidation number. Manganese 4 oxide. Or you if you don't want to include the this uh, oxidation number, then you can say manganese dioxide. They are the same. Characteristics of catalyst. Eh? Uh, this is also uh, one of the 
things that which is uh, important for you to know. Sometimes uh, it may come out in your uh, objective questions. Usually it come out in objective questions. Eh? Okay. Chemically, the catalyst, eh? okay, chemically remain unchanged during reactions. For examples, eh? for examples, uh, just now we have the reactions of um, zinc. Okay, zinc react with hydrochloric acid. Okay, and if you add copper sulfate, copper sulfate, so the the products will be zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas plus copper sulfate. Uh, from here we can see that before the reaction is copper sulfate, after the reaction is still copper sulfate. Eh? So chemically it remain unchanged. Okay, it remain unchanged. Chemically, eh? chemically it remain unchanged. Physically it may change. For example, if you use uh, granules, after the reactions, maybe it will become powder okay so physically it may change but chemically it remain unchanged okay so that is what does it mean by chemically remain unchanged huh? okay so before and after they are the st still the same chemical yeah still the same chemical okay second it does not change the quantities of products huh? it does not change the quantities of the products let's go back to the two experiments huh? okay um, so, from these experiments, you can see that for set one and set two, the amount of products produced is the same. Let's say uh, the the gas release. Let's say the gas release is uh, fifty cm cube. Okay, fifty cm cube. Both of these experiments, uh, the amount of gas release is the same. Both also fifty cm cubed. Okay, so so catalyst it will change the rate make it faster or slower, but it won't change the amount of product produced. Eh? Okay, please. So it does not change the quantities of the products. Eh? Um, C is specific. It's specific means that the catalyst is only for a particular reactions. For examples, for examples, decompositions of hydrogen peroxide h2o2 uh, this is hydrogen peroxide and it will decompose to become water plus uh, oxygen okay and then uh, in this case we can use manganese 4 oxide or manganese dioxide right mno24 okay and this mno2 is only for the decompositions of hydrogen peroxide it's only for this reaction it's specifically for this reaction so if you use it for another reactions, then it won't work. Okay, so that's why we say it's specific. This catalyst only for these reactions. Eh? Okay, sometimes it may be one catalyst for two, three different reactions. It, it, it can it can happen. Okay, but usually it's one catalyst is only for uh, only uh, some specific reactions. Eh? Not necessarily it must be only one. Eh? It can be a few specific reactions. Eh? Okay, so so we say it's specific. D need small amounts to achieve big increases. So you just need to small amounts, just a little amount of uh, this is a catalyst presence. Uh, then you can see the rate change a lot. Okay, and more amount can increase the rate. If you use more catalyst, the rate will become even higher. So the amount of the catalyst used uh, will uh, will change or will uh, affect the rate of reactions as well. And then uh, in powder form can increase the rate of reactions. Eh? So if you use granules or if uh, compared to powder, then uh, the catalyst in powder forms will make the rate of reactions even higher. Okay, means that the, the physical properties eh, of the catalyst will also affect the rate of reactions. Uh, from here, actually, it also shows that the catalyst, it take part in the reactions. Eh? It take part in the reactions, but uh, after the reactions, it remains unchanged. But it take part, eh? okay? Because some students that think that catalyst it does not take part in the reaction. It just uh, as an observer, so but that's not true, okay? Okay, it take part in the reactions. Okay, so uh, the last one, uh, it may undergo physical change, as I told you. Uh, maybe the color will change. Uh, maybe it will change from. Uh, 
solids to uh, solutions, it dissolves, okay, or if it's get granules, it will change to powder. So it may undergo physical change, but chemically it remains unchanged. 